Hi, welcome to Coastal's Optician Training Program. Today, we're gonna learn how to frame style your patient, how to build their lenses, talking about upgrades and any add-ons to the lenses, how to make your measurements, and how to dispense your frames. So let's get started. First, as your patient walks up, take an assessment of them. Look at their hair color, their eye color, their bridge size, their face shape. Once they sit down, start to ask them fact-finding questions about their lifestyle, their job, are they in front of a computer, do they live an active lifestyle, how durable does their frame need to be, are they on and off with their glasses. Take a look at the prescription, are they in a high power lens, are they a high minus, are they a high plus. This will help you determine what kind of frame to help your patient select. Then start to ask your patient questions. Do they want to make a statement with their glasses? Do they want their glasses to blend? Um, are they looking for a completely rimless frame? Do they want a drill mount? Then help them pick out a frame based on their lifestyle needs and the color of the clothes that they wear. Next, you're going to help the patient build their lens. Go through all the upgrades. We're going to start off with no glare. Our company sells Essilor products. We offer the Crizal lens, which is a premium product. You want to make sure that the patient differentiates the premium from the house products that other companies might sell them. With our lens, it's eight different layers that's baked onto the lens. Unlike other competitors who also sell non-glare, which flakes and scratches easily. Ours is eight different layers baked onto the lens. It's an anti-glare, no scratch, no smudge, no dust, and they're also waterproof. Along with the lens, they get a one-year warranty, so if the lens scratches or cracks within a year, Crizal will replace it once for free. Let them know the benefits of the no glare, such as no glare for nighttime driving and computer work, and the cosmetic features of the lens cuts out glare both coming in and going out. Next, we'll talk about the polycarbonate lens, or different lens materials. Based on the patient's prescription, whether they're a high minus or a high plus, if you're fitting a child for lenses, you want to make sure you push for these polycarbonate lenses. It's a thinner, lighter, more durable material. It also comes with a scratch resistant coating and this as well will put a one year warranty on your lens. It's going to make your lens thin and light. This lens material is extremely durable and is qualified as an ANSI standard safety lens, which can be put into a safety frame. We would stress pa to patients that have children to get this lens material put in the glasses for their kids to keep them from shattering or cracking for the safety of their children. Also, if the thin and light is not thin enough for a patient with a power that's maybe a seven or higher, you wanna maybe push them into a high index lens, which is similar, it's just gonna keep the thickness of their lens down. The last upgrade that we offer is the no-line progressive. The progressive is, um, basically a trifocal. It has those three different viewing channels, your distance, your intermediate, and your reading. With progressives, we offer three different progressives. We offer the Verilux Physio, the Physio Enhance, and the Verilux Physio S Series, which is our latest. You want to stress to them that we use the most cutting edge technology. It's both, the S Series is both cut digitally in the front and on the back. It's going to give the patient minimal peripheral blur. It's going to help with any depth perception problems. And the best selling points on the progressive lens is asking them, if you could change anything about your lens, what would you change? Most people are going to say, I have depth perception problems. I have problems stepping off of stairs. My peripheral vision is obscured when I drive. And the S-Series solves all the problems for this patient. You let the patient know that the S-Series is going to clear up all of these concerns. You'll have minimal peripheral blur. You won't have trouble with depth perception when you're stepping off of stairs. It does take a day or two for your patient to get adjusted, so let them know that. But this is the best lens on the market, and it's way better than having a lined bifocal because the channels of their viewing channels are going to be way larger than a lined bifocal product. If you cannot get them into a Verilux S-Series, push for a Verilux Physio. Just let them know the benefits of having a progressive over the, just a traditional line bifocal or trifocal. The last one we have is the transition lenses. We offer three different transition lenses here at Coastal. We have the Transitions Traditional, Transitions Extra Active, and Transitions Vantage, which is a polarized lens. Let them know that the transitions don't change in the car. You want to sell a product to the patient that the patient needs and wants. 
So you let them know the difference between the traditional and the extra active. The extra active do get dark when you go behind a windshield. Because your lenses are activated by UV rays, patients are concerned that when they go into a room that has bright lights that they'll change to dark lenses. Let them know that they're activated by UV rays so they'll only change when they go outside. Here at Coastal, we offer 20% off of your second pair. So try to push to get your, your patient into sunwear. With polarized lenses, it cuts out any dangerous glare for long distance drivers. You would also, this would also be an item of interest for any fishermen or hunters because it cuts out the glare on the top of the water. With the fishermen, they, they're able to look directly into the water without that glare. And if, if they're a hunter, if they use a scope on their gun, it also cuts out the glare for that as well. You want to push this polarized lens over a tinted lens because the tinted lens doesn't have the UV protection like the polarized lens will give them. So anybody that has an active lifestyle, you can put them in any kind of sports goggles. Any kind of frame can be fitted with a polarized lens. You just want to make that available to your patient. And now we're going to learn about measuring the patient for their glasses. This measurement is extremely important because it allows you to know exactly where we need to put the optical center for the patient's lens. So first you're going to place this right up against the patient's face with the forehead bar pressed up against their forehead and their bridge right on, the, on these nose pads. You're going to want to make sure that there's the, both the patient are sitting down and you are sitting down and you are sitting level with the patient. You set it right up against the patient's face and look directly through this side. When, before you measure them, you want to make sure that you are taking the patient's distance PD. It's going to have, like a little, it's going to have an infinity symbol right here. You're going to place your thumbs on the dials right as you set the device against the patient's face. And all you have to do is, there's going to be lines, tell them to look directly in the center at the light. The light's going to reflect off of their pupil, and you're going to line up the light with the reflection on their pupil, and that's going to give you their PD, and just record it. You're going to go ahead and record both the monocular PD and the binocular PD, because some patients might, you might need it for a single vision, or you might need the measurement for a progressive lens. So go ahead and make sure that you record that accurately. After you do use your pupillometer, you do want to make sure that you clean it with an alcohol pad because it's sitting right against the patient's face. We want to make this as sanitary as possible. As soon as your glasses come in, you want to make sure that the prescription in the glasses is exactly what the doctor wrote. So you're going to take your glasses to the lensometer and you're going to read the prescription. You, whenever you're reading the prescription, you want to make sure that you're comparing it exactly to the doctor's written prescription and not the lab bill because of human error. You make sure that the, your axis is completely correct. If, there, if it's a plus, make sure your power is a plus. If it's a minus, make sure your power is a minus before you dispense the glasses to the patient. If it is off by a certain amount of diopters based on ANSI standard, you must return it to the lab or else you can damage a patient's vision. Once you check the glasses, you can go ahead and call the patient and let them know that their glasses are ready. Once the patient comes in, you want to bring the tray to the table. You're going to go ahead and allow the patient to try on their glasses and the first thing you want to do is adjust the fit of the glasses before you even test the vision. You're going to make sure that the temples are secure behind the ears, the nose pads are at the right angle that they need to be to meet the customer's needs. Some patients do like their glasses to sit a little lower, some like to sit a little higher. You want to listen to your patient, ask them questions about the fit of their glasses to make sure that they're comfortable with the way that they're wearing them. Once you get the glasses to fit the patient correctly, you're going to go ahead and check their vision. I would suggest that maybe you keep a reading card at your desk to allow the patient to read. If not, maybe you can grab a magazine and just allow the patient to read the letters to make sure that they're, they're able to see clearly. Some patients at first might have a little difficulty with their glasses. If it is something that they feel that will, they, they will adjust to, go ahead and let them leave with their glasses. I would tell them to try it a day or two. First time progressive wears, anybody that's being put into a bifocal or a trifocal, you want to let them know that it might take a day or two for them to adjust to their prescription. If the patient's been out of prescription eyewear for a certain amount of time, you also want to let them know that it's going to take a day or two for their eyes to get adjusted to their glasses. Before the patient leaves, always make yourself available for adjustments or if the patient's having any problems with their vision, you want to make sure that the patient leaves comfortable and happy with the product that they bought. 
because this is more than just retail. You want to make sure that the, the patient's happy with the prescription. Thank you for watching this training video. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact your supervisor. Thank you for watching.